Hi everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, this card is using a brand new set which is available on the 4th of June. Bloom and Grow. And I'm going to be using this image and this image. I'm also going to be using a happy birthday out of Itty Bitty Birthdays. Um, I also used a white card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. Two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of white at two and a two and a quarter by three and seven eighths. So, move that out of the way and get a piece of this. We do need that as well because I did put, oh, it's sure to be a fun day as well. Let's get that stamp out. Uh, there it is. And put that on a... block and we also need this one on the inside right so we'll do the front first and with my black Versatine, Versafine ink I will stamp the nice flowers. Let's take the ink to the flowers would be better. Just stamp this, it will go off. So let's get some scrap. And the flower, the main flower in the middle, in the middle of the card, and just a tiny bit down from the bottom, we stamp that down. Turn it round and do it again. And there we go. stamp. I see in the new catalogue they've got a new um, cleaner for stamps which I'm interested in. All right I also noticed we did I did two other things so I added a leaf image but I also need a piece of post-it note. I've got these little diddy ones which are handy for this and just masking off that main flower I added a sprig of leaves just there Do the same at the the other one. I 
And I also added the bubbles again. So, was it the bubbles? Not that one. A bubble with the leaves. Let's clean that stamp. A bubble with leaves. Which one is it? This one. And put that there. Do the same this side. Yeah, I'll have to do it this side because there's no stamp for now. I'm going to let that dry. Put that away. Clean this stamp. Then with the this little bit what we're going to do is with these scalloped edge dies that came with the pack. We are going to cut these off. So, with them right on the edge. I'm going to tape them down. Take that turn there and bring my um, big shop into that. Bring you out a bit. Oh, wrong way. to extend it so it cuts the other end so all you do is fit that fit it onto a scalloped bit just so it extends it take this off so I can see what I'm doing to do it in the air because oh, start again. I've got my magnetic mat, uh, base on so of course if you put magnets on it it will hold them down right, you want to feed that in there that's it so it's all level Secure that on there. Put that back on. And make sure it's even. And 
and cut it out again. That way I have extended the scalloped edges neatly. So I'll get rid of all this. this we're going to put our your simply wonderful sentiment on it and place it hope I'm not got my head in this I'm hoping it's straight And now on this one, I put happy birthday on, but I put it on after I actually stuck it on the card. So it's not quite centre. So this one, we're going to try and put it centre and straight. Having trouble seeing straight lines today. Right. That's better. And put that in the center. Nice. Clean my stamp. Get rid of that. And pop that to the side. Right, that's all our stamping done. So now we're going to colour. Now what I did with this, I've used my inks and I used an old Wink Stella brush and just filled it with water. The reason I'm using this is because I can control the water better than I can with a aqua pen. But there again I found I've got about four of these and all the brushes are different. I think that's a small one. So I'm going to use this. I'm comfortable using this. It's still got water in it. So with these new pads you want to squeeze the bottom of the pad to get ink in the lid. Do it again. enough and then with my Winkerstella pen I should just pick up the ink and colour it in it's also with this Winkerstella pen it has got glitter in it still so you will um, find that the glitter will shine through once it's dry. Just controls the water flow on this. Well, I think it does. rather than a aqua pen. So 
So I've done the middle flower Highland Heather. This one as well. You notice I'm starting in the centre and just dragging it up. And by the time you see this, I think um, might be on the day the catalogue is launched or just after. I'll try and do it for uh, depending on what day is the 4th of June. I don't know what day it is. But well, I'll try and get it so it's. Is that. No, there's one. So, now then, what I did is try and pick up some dark ink and just dab it round the middle. Just by the flower centre. Just so it's a little bit darker around the centre of the flower. Do that on all of them. Right, today is the 20. 9th of May and yesterday our second great grandchild was born so we have another great grandson he was actually born on his mother's birthday but my granddaughter is not doing too good 24 years old and she's had to have a full hysterectomy bless her Right, I don't want that too harsh, so I'll just rub it in a bit. That's the purple one done. Now, clean the brush off. And now we're going to use balmy blue. And squeeze in there ink in the bottom and I'll do the same again just pull it up from the center It's a spring light flower card this. And then again with some dark ink just go around the centre. I 
I did do one of these on watercolour card and used a paintbrush. Show you afterwards. These will dry paler. Mm. Again, some dark ink around the centre. And then we have them done. Clean off the brush again and close that up. And blush and bride this time. So squeeze the pad again. Oh. And just pick up some ink. And do the same with the pink ones. Didn't think I'd be filming this afternoon because we've got having our roof repaired. But the workmen have decided not to come today. Because the Big boss man wanted to look at uh, once it got the roof off or the tiles off, should I say? He wanted to take a look at the damage. And he's been round to sign what's to be done, and the boys will be back tomorrow. Just doing the dark around the middle. There's a bit more here. And do this one now. As you can see, I'm not worried about getting right to the edge and I'm just filling it in. But not being fussed about it.
I've finished with the flowers. And now I think they look pretty. Let me agree. Right, that's that. Now for the leaves. And I've got Old Olive and Mossy Meadow. So, a bit of Old Olive. And all I've done just colouring the leaves. Went round and coloured them all in. Don't know if you can hear that someone too. But... And on my neighbours. These ones. Now we have to do this side. Nearly done. Oh, oh look, I missed a petal. So I've missed a pink there and a pink there and a little pink there. So that's old olive done. Now mossy meadow. Mm, let's get a bit in the lid. Why isn't this working? Don't actually need a lot. But all I did was put some dark ink at the base of each leaf. Not working. Do it this way.
I just think that shows off the leaf a little bit more and I do like this leaves where it's dark and light This is boring for you lot, but it's got to be done. I could have done it beforehand. And just done a bit of it on a video, but I didn't think. So, clean off my pen. So I need to use pink again, our blush and bride. Brushes don't know how to get all the green off. Right, just grab this again. And just do that leaf or petal and that petal and to do them. And then for the the more things here, I did them in yellow and I didn't bring any daffodil to light down. Daffodil delight and just colour in each of the circular things in Daffodil delight. Right, I believe that's it finished. So we never stamped the inside of this one. So if I stamp that now and I'm just putting one there. I'm just going to put one and the sentiment. Let's cut. 
colour these in. Keep forgetting what way these open. So I want that one. That one. Just put a blue, looks like green, not all the yellows come off. Close that up, close that up, and just island other just for the last one. There we are. What we're going to do now is grab our paper snips and a design and we're going to cut round the image. Just leaving a little white border. all along the top because we don't want it straight Recycling men are here. Taking our glass and cans. Then we have another recycling gum, and they take our plastics and paper. Oh no, today is. Once a fortnight we have them come in for glass and cans and our black household rubbish and then to the following week we have them come in for plastics and paper. And every week we have our food waste collected as well. All in the name of recycling. Mm -hmm. 
soon get to know which year neighbours are the winos <laughs> all the wine bottles that get put out that's not wrong nothing wrong with having a glass of wine I personally don't drink alcohol that is right I just about finished that there we are that's a sign and that we will sit on dimensionals on that doesn't that look pretty So, I know someone's going to say you're using too many. Whatever. I like to use a lot. So, take all the backs off. And we'll place this on our card. and straight and even then with our sentiment what have I done with it there it is we will also put that on dimensionals Dimensional won't come off the cover. Better. Right. And in this, we sit between them. And it should go edge to edge. Which it does. And that is, apart from some gems, Let's put some gems on to finish it off. Now I used two sets. Right, these gold button things, silver button, sorry. And I put a cluster of three just here. And then with the rhinestones, I stuck them in the middle of each, one in the middle of each flower. But because it's damp, I am going to put a spot of glue in the middle of each flower. And then just stick the rhinestone on top. It up then.
actually had to open my another packet of rhinestones. They do last a while though. Well, that is half a packet. That a packet of cut in halves, just so it's easier for going in my box. And we've got the inside. That's him. And there we have it. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my video, please subscribe and press the notification button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.